Hey, what's going on, Infinity Collectors? Robert Walkney here from CoinOp TV. Going to talk about some Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Super Heroes, the circular power discs. There's 14 total, and I'm going to go through each one in this video and chat about them uh, quickly, or maybe not so quickly, depending on how fast you like to listen or how fast I like to talk. Let me click over and get started. We're going to start off with the Sorcerer Supreme. There's Doctor Strange right there looking real mysterious and cool. This is actually kind of a throwback. It looks like to maybe Art Adams when he was drawing the comic or something like that. Real sketchy artwork. Looks really cool. Uh, use Sorcerer Supreme's bolts of Balthek to strike down your enemies. Uh, that's all I know about him so far. I haven't seen him in action yet. This is the Shield Hello Carrier Strike. Uh, shield Hello Carrier Strike. Send down a missile strike from above. Your enemies will need to take cover. There's Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Looks like a little bit of a power boost right there. Now this is the one that a lot of people are like, hey, this is the one I get my hands on this. So it's got the red border. This is the Infinity Gauntlet power disc. It's uh, red, so that means it's rare, packaged less, less frequent in the uh, blind bags. And let's see, Infinity Gauntlet, summon a force field of cosmic explosions to devastate your enemies. This is a rare and powerful power disc. I don't have this one yet. This is the one I'm the most excited about trying to get when I open up the wrappers. I'll be looking for that red edge, you know, when I get the wrappers. So if you have this disc, let me know in the comments below, um, you know, what it does, if it's real cool or not. I'm curious. Okay, so this is the Marvel team-up Iron Patriot. So there's a, a few... Um, Team up this here. We're going to talk about uh, Marvel team up Iron Patriot. Hit them hard. Hit them fast. Hit them with everything. Iron Patriot reporting for duty. Salute. Uh, so that's kind of an alternate skin or an alternate Iron Man there. Uh, here is the team up disc for Winter Soldier. With the Soldier, team up with the Winter Soldier and catch your enemies in the crossfire. So maybe he's got a little sniper rifle. He can kind of shoot some bad guys away um, from afar. Not quite sure yet. Here is White Tiger's team up disc. Fight alongside White Tiger who conquers their enemies with Veiline power and grace. She probably scratches claws at them, right? Now this one I have. So this is the Ant-Man uh, team up disc. Uh, team up with Hank Pym, aka Ant-Man. He's small but packs a big punch. Now I put up a vlog the other day when I was doing some blind boxing handhold, kind of messing around with the camera there. And I didn't realize that this was Ant-Man. I was like, hey, I don't know who this is. This is, you know, some sort of offshoot of Ultron or something. And a lot of comments, you guys were cool. You were like, oh, hey, Rob, that's Ant-Man if you didn't know it or whatever. But then there was a lot of a lot of troll comments hating in there. They're like, Rob, you got to give up your Marvel card, your Marvel certification. How dare you have Disney Infinity 2.0 if you don't even know who Ant-Man is? Guys, I've been collecting comics for a long, long time. I know who Ant-Man is. I've just never seen him in this iteration right here with this costume. This uh, red, you know, the way his helmet is, I don't know if that's from the current comics or the uh, cartoon or what, but trust me, I know Hank Pym, um, Ant-Man, Giant-Man, Yellow Jacket, Wasp, you know, all the goodness from back in the day, old school. So, thanks for your comments. Trying to take so much if I, you know, don't realize something right away in a video. Here's something I do know about is I got this Yondu, I have this rare here so far um, so it's got the red border it means it's rare it's, um, so these are packaged a little less so Yondu is a team up disc fight alongside this powerful arrow shooting ally and send enemies running for their lives so if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy what are you waiting for go see it the movie was great very fun can't wait to pick it up on blu-ray and watch it over and over again um, speaking of Blu-rays, I just picked up the Captain America 2 with the Soldier Blu-ray. Do I have this? Yes, I do have this disc also. So here is, um, this is the Sentinel Liberty. It's expand your superior wardrobe with Captain America's World War II costume and original shield. Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I'm not, like, when you're playing, it says original shield. When you're playing with this on there, his skin changes. Uh, he has, uh, the World War II garb on him a little more old school and retro but the shield is still circular so that description i'm not quite sure about that because the, the shield is still the same originally when i got it, i was like oh it's gonna have the little triangle shield there but not really the case okay so here's the hulk gamma rays um time to get old school and unlock the original gray hulk costume with added smash so if you didn't know this the hulk originally was gray he wasn't gray for a long time i don't know how many issues it was he was gray but then he was green 
it was probably easier to make him green and pop on the comic book, uh, you know, ink back in the day there. But uh, he's been green, green, green for a while. And then he was gray uh, back in, like, issues like 340 or something like that. I think when McFarlane was doing some of the artwork, I'm not quite sure. He was kind of gray again. He was kind of, you know, really tough and macho and badass and gray hulk. So looking forward to... Um, trying to get my hands on this disc so I can play as Grey Hulk. I like the disc. So far, I like the disc the most that changed the skin. The skin. Here's another skin color. Uh, this is the Stark Arc Reactor. Try the Mark 42 on for size, if you guys are Iron Man fans. Unlock Iron Man's black and white special edition Guardians of the Galaxy armor with added boom. So this will be cool if you're playing um, Guardians of the Galaxy playset. Iron Man's crossover figure. You can use this in that set. Fly around have a little uh, change up there. We got a couple more to go. Here is, now I was really excited when I got this. I got him in my hands. I click over here. So this is the alien symbiont. Slip into this infamous Spider-Man costume and boost your range for pickups. So um, I was really excited when I got this because, you know, the Secret Wars series was amazing back in the day. I think it was like the late 80s, 85, 86 or something like that. They had the Secret Wars, uh, 12 issue limited series and spider-man was on this alien planet he found this alien symbiont and it, it attached itself to his body and he was just like nutso he was crazy he was just like stronger faster he had attitude and edge it really turned the whole um popularity for spider-man around and then what happened was it started consuming him i mean the mcfarlane era when when Mc, todd mcfarlane came in was doing some spider-man 300 300 301 all that uh, it introduced sort of venom and uh, spider-man got rid of the costume and venom came along eddie brock i think was the first venom and you guys already know who venom is and you love venom so there's kind of uh, wikipedia gen you know in in rob's you know remembering from when when i was a kid so anyway i'm glad i have this it's in my possession i've used it already i'm going to try and make some videos with the uh black symbiont costume so you know stick around if you guys aren't nice subscribe now's the time to subscribe to coin up tv here's another one i have this one too so iron fist i'm liking iron fist a lot in the game um you know, when I was younger, it was like Pyro Man and Iron Fist were the comic books, and I remember Iron Fist was cool because he did some karate and ninja, whatever, some kung fu. And uh, this disc will change, let's see, become the Immortal Iron Fist for chi-powered healing and the dreaded Iron Fist attack. Um, that description, I guess it helps with the healing, but it changes the suit. You get, instead of the green, you get the white skin there. That's what happens. So, it looks cool. Either way, the Pyro Man... I'm sorry, either way, the Iron Fist green or white looks cool. If you get an extra health bonus, that's awesome, too. I didn't really notice that much in the game. And finally, we have number 14. We have the space armor. Unlock Amora's out-of-this-world space armor. Costume for added protection against enemies. And then it says, who says fashion can't be functional, too? So, um, for those of you guys that are old-school Guardians of the Galaxy fan, you may want, like, the different skin for Gamora. I haven't seen this in action yet, so I don't know what it looks like. But, there it is. So, um, here's the thing now. Uh, so, I have two team-up discs, Ant-Man and Yondu, here. I'm a little on the fence with the team-up discs, and here's why. You, when you put them on the base, they take about two or three minutes to charge up, and then when you use them, they only last for, like, 20 to 30 seconds, um, and they, they'll come out and they'll do some fighting. You know, it's nothing so crazy. It'll kind of help you out. Not so insane, but I did find out one thing is you can put both of them on the, uh, on the Infinity Base together, and it'll charge two at once, and then you can use the D-pad on the Xbox, and you press up or down to trigger, you know, if you want Yondu or Ant-Man or um, Winter Soldier, one of the other ones, uh, Iron, Iron Man or something like that on the team-up. So, th there's good and bad. It's cool that they're there, but I just wish they didn't take so long to charge up. So... With that, um, let let me wrap up this video. I'm going to make three other videos, uh, another one with the uh, hexagonal Marvel um, discs, and also two of the Disney, one with the circular and one with the hexagonal uh, discs. So if you guys aren't new, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's youtube.com slash coinuptv. Thanks a bunch for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of my Marvel lore and uh, spit it out to you and regurgitate it in um, old school my remembering, you know, back when I was reading those comics hardcore. Every every Wednesday, every Wednesday, Thursday, go to that comic book store, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll see you next time.